Hello everyone, welcome back again. I am back. This is Katia Valino. If this is your first time, please consider subscribing, sharing this video, and welcome to joining our YouTube family. So guys, today we're going to be talking about the things that you, as a woman, the kind of behaviors that you throw out there that real that can really really ruin your marriage so many women wants to stay married they want to be married but they, do they really understand the pros and cons of being married marriage is not as it looks marriage is not a bed of roses you as a woman you hold the key to your marriage some of your attitudes, some of your behaviors can make or break your marriage. If this is going to entice you, stay here. Let's talk about those eight behaviors that will break your marriage. So the first one that you don't know, a lot of women don't know that they are controlling freak. They control their husbands. We tell them, women knowing that they control their husbands when your husband married you he wasn't looking for a second mother he wasn't looking for a mom he has his mom you are just a helper a wife however so many of us do cross the boundary forgetting that he is our husband and not that he is a husband and not your child so many so many women get involved in uh controlling their husbands in the sense of they they will tell their husband uh the kind of outfit to wear they will even tell them the kind of places to go get a job they will even tell them how to chew when they're sitting on the table on the table manner they will tell them even when they're going on the street how to walk on the street they will tell them the kind of friends they will keep. This is controlling. And so many of you guys don't know that you're controlling your husband. Men don't like women who play certain roles in their life. You're playing the role of the mother of you guys' children. You are playing the role of his own wife. And you are also playing the role of his mother. We need to pay attention to those things. Men don't like that because sometimes when you over push them, they rebel. Don't talk too much. Don't try to guide them, to tell them when to, or when to talk to people on the phone, when to give money to their mother, when to, uh, uh, the kind of outfit. Everybody is wearing skinny pants now. Why are you still wearing these oversized pants? Even if you have to, if it's a concern to you, your attitude, the way you go around it, don't throw that over on his face. Say something like, honey, you know what? I was shopping the other day. I think that these pants will really look cute on you. What do you think? Because everything is about presentation, packaging. How do we relate the messages onto them? Don't be a masculine woman while you are a, while you are a wife. Don't push. Don't push so much. If you snooze, you lose. So pay attention to the way you treat your husband, the way you talk to them, especially when people are around. You might not know that you are a controlling freak, but he sees you as a controlling freak just by the way you talk to him and the way you react and do certain things. Men don't like that. So please stop that. If you're one of those controlling women, even want to tell your husband when he needs to go back to school to get his master's degree, everybody's having master's degree. No, you are not his mom. You are his wife. The next one is another big thing that will really, really break your marriage is where you are not forgiving. You know, you have a dispute with your husband. He has apologized to you. You keep 
flaunting and carrying your face for the next one week. You are not talking to him. Learn to forgive. And this is why if you fall into that category of women, you find out that most men will not come back to apologize to you because they know, you know what? The last time he apologized, it took you one week to forgive. So why the heck? Why is he even bothering to apologize to you? He will just shove that under the rug. You know what? So learn to forgive. I have some women don't come and throw on his face things that happened over 10 years ago. And you guys have an argument or understanding today. And then you want, and then you dig it right from under the rug. Hey, 10 years ago, remember what you did five years ago, two weeks ago? Come on, learn to forgive. You guys have talked that over. He has apologized. Move on. Don't keep going back and forth, back and forth. These things will ruin your relationship. I used to be like that. Like I used to be, whenever my husband does something to me, I will keep flaunting my face. He will come. He will beg. He will apologize. At the end of the day, he gets so tired of apologizing. He will just let go. And then I turn back to be the one that go back now to apologize and say, now nah, what is it again now? So don't be the one to break or ruin your marriage. Have that soft touch. When he says he's sorry, forgive him and move on. Don't keep holding on to grudges. It's not going to lead you anywhere. It's going to make you look older. It might break your marriage. You're going to be that hard woman that never forgives. And you find out that your attitude will chase your man away of the house because you never forgive. You never smile. You keep dragging one thing, you know, like, like cheese the way the cheese draws, right? You keep drawing it like cheese with just one little something, you hang on to that. Learn to forgive. Learn to be a woman and not a masculine woman, okay? So the next thing you want to do or you want to stop doing right now is to stop comparing your man with somebody's man. Don't compare your man, especially when people are there. If it's my husband, even if it's your husband is going to do something positive, don't say, eh, if it's my husband, he wouldn't even take that. He wouldn't even let that happen. No, don't. You don't even know if he will appreciate, if he knows that you go out there and you are comparing him to other people. Don't compare yourself and don't even say, my husband will never, never treat me like that. Uh, don't even compare him and tell him, oh, you know, Katya's husband just bought him a brand new car. And what are you doing? You keep promising me every year over and over and over. Stop comparing your man with other people's man. Everybody have their pros and cons. So if you have respect for your man, take him adore him the way he is. We all have flaws. You as a wife, you have probably have more flaws than him. So don't keep comparing and picking out all the small little things that he has done and you keep shoving it down his throat and throwing it on his face. Don't do that. It is going to break your marriage. Definitely going to break your marriage marriage. The next one that is really, really going to break your marriage is sharing so much. I have talked about this a lot in this, uh, in this channel. Stop sharing so much information. Information that has to do with you and your husband belongs to you and your husband. If you really, really, really need somebody to talk to, Get a counselor, somebody that is not even a friend, or pick one person from the family and confide in the family instead of confiding in friends. Your friends will be your friend today, but in the next five, 10 years, she will not be your friend. Every little thing you have told her, the moment you guys break up, she will let the cat out of the bag. So guys, ladies, stop, stop sharing too much too much information be very careful where you share your information again especially with friends don't do that a lot of friends might even be wishing 
that your marriage will break up. And then here, there you go, sharing your husband weakness, weakness with somebody, with an outsider, they will throw it on your face sooner or later. Stop sharing too much information with people. The next one that is going to really, really break your marriage is being a liability. You don't want to be a liability to the man that, it, that married you. Days are gone when women are only looking for rich, productive men. These day and age, men are also looking for women who are entrepreneurs, who can produce something. Women that are not liabilities. Do not be a liability or a burden to a man. Get out there and do something. Men don't like liabilities. They don't. The only liability I think that men have, most of them that grow, born, and raised in Africa are their parents. You know, they have to give to their parents, whether they like it or not. Our own time, this time, now, it's all our parents. So he cannot be caring for his aged parents, doing everything to pay for the kids' school fees, even though you might be chipping it, doing everything to pay for the uh, kids' school fees, providing grocery money in the house, buying you clothes, buying you or changing your cars all the time, and you are just a liability to him. Men don't want that. Sooner or later, the marriage is going to break. So, so guys, share your thoughts and your comment. If you want your marriage to last long and for him to love you forever and for you to love him forever as well, do exactly what you learned from this video today. I will leave you guys. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.